Greetings, citizens of the internet. Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Jeff Kanata. And I'm Ashley Escada. You're watching our headlines episode, so let's hit it. <laughs> Capturing 3D images of the human body can be a little bit tricky because we tend to move around, but the Curatio hand scanner aims to fix that. Pieter Smockman is a student at the Delft University of Technology, and he noticed that 3D scans of hands were tough to do because, as I mentioned, people tend to move during the procedure. So he created the Curatio. The final prototype consists of 32 cameras, laser projection, and is powered by a Raspberry Pi. When a person puts their hand into the machine, the lasers create a lot of different reference points for a modeling software to use, and the cameras all snap a photo at the exact same time. Smockman thinks the Curatio can be used for a wide range of products from 3D printed casts all the way to sports equipment. Yeah, this is super cool. But if they're looking for a celebrity spokesperson, I hope they consider Horatio Sands for Curatio's hands. Ugh. Huh? Because he's available, I'm sure. Next. <laughs> hey, switching from a medical story to a one about pottery, check out how music can influence the making of pots. One day, Olivier Van Herpt noticed loud music changing the form of a 3D printed object and was inspired to create something similar. Instead of accidentally changing the form, he worked with sound designer Ricky Van Brokhoven and mounted a speaker directly under a 3D printer designed by Van Herpt to make clay pots. While the printing process happens, the speaker emits low-pitched sound pulses, causing the pot to vibrate and change its pattern. The final products are beautiful, intricate pots with some personality to them. So interesting that sound can be used as a physical manipulator, but I'm curious what it would be like if you used actual songs. Yeah, you know? something really bass heavy. Yeah. Give me a good EDM track. <laughs> yeah. Give me a Wub Wub pot. I want to see a Run DMC's pot. I need a Wub. Wait a minute. Wub pot. <laughs> Wubs. All right, guys, that's it for our headlines. Which one should we talk about on Thursday's long show? Uh, man, those those hand the the scanning of hands, I find that fascinating. We gotta discuss that more. Yeah. So if you guys want to get in on that conversation for the Thursday long show, you can use the hashtag hey TD. Yeah, shout at us over Twitter, and if we like what you comment, we'll use your comment in our discussion on the long form show on Thursday. That's right. And that's it for our headlines. So let's talk about our photographer of the day. Today's photographer is Brie, who took this adorable picture with her droid mini. Yeah, Brie writes to us and says, Hey TD, I wanted to share this wonderful picture of my boy Milo. This was taken with my 4G LTE droid mini, and you have my full permission to use this on the show. Uh, first of all, who's a good boy? He's a, Milo's a good boy. Who's a good boy? You are. He's cute. That is a really cute dog. I'm, uh... I'm one of those people that gets a little crazy when people shoot in portrait mode, but this time it works. It does work, but listen, Bree, if you want to send us a landscape picture of your dog <laughs> so we can see it even bigger on our screens, that yeah. would be awesome because he's so, so cute and we love him. Hey, if you want to be our photographer, send us a picture, let us know what device you took it on, give us permission to use it, and give us a little story about what it is. We do love stories. Yeah, even, the information even made is up here. Ones. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, it's over in this you know. general area. Uh, and of course, if you guys want to find us on social media, we are on the internet. You might know us from there. <laughs> All the information is right down there for your social media tweeting, snapping, gramming pleasure. Oh. I don't know. Whatever you guys are into. All the medias of social variety. It's hey, true. that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, tune back in tomorrow. We've got more headlines coming at you. Until then, be good humans. See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>